forget it. It's changed so much, and it's they they changed so much, and they just made it like they. It's really hard to describe. They like everything you thought was happening. They tell you something new, and it changes the entire perspective of the entire series. It's great. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like a good twist. Mm. Yeah, it is. It's great. I, uh, yeah, yeah, I. But I, after Kingdom Hearts two, I, I, I haven't played any more since then. Oh, fair so. enough. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts two. Yeah, great. well, uh, I played, I played Kingdom Hearts one up until Ursula. Oh yeah. Uh, and I, I threw the controller because I was so mad at <laughs> Ursula. And oh. then I played Kingdom Hearts two all the way almost to the end, and I fought this one boss fight. Where this dude was teleporting all over the place. Zigba. And then I got so yeah, frustrated, he, I threw the control. The one with the snipers. Yeah. Zigba. Yeah. So the old Zigba's tough. I just, have, I just have this tendency to throw the controller when I play those games. It's just I don't like damaging my controllers. Yeah. For my own, for my own uh, well-being, I try not to play those anymore. Yeah. Fair enough. Evil Dead fan, I love Sly Cooper. I I do like Sly Cooper. It's just I I can't get into it as easily. I don't know what it is about it. it it's a it's I, a great I had game. I quite a trouble. But Sorry. I, I, it is a great I game. Say. I just yeah yeah you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh the lag! It's so good. <laughs> um, I was saying I I uh, I had trouble getting into the first two, but I thought the third one was a masterpiece. Mm. I haven't played the third one, so maybe I should play that. It's uh, it's it's neat because you get to play. At, they they have a whole uh, group of people you get to play as. Right. Uh, and each one of them plays a little differently, and the story is just really fun. And plus, I I, I knew those guys at Sucker Punch, so right. you know I always I always liked playing games. Mm. Yeah. They also made Infamous, didn't they? They did. Yes. Yeah, David's going to be playing that um, on Friday. Not Friday, the, on the fifth day. Uh, whatever that is, that's Wednesday. Well, no, Tuesday. Wait, is it Tuesday? I don't know. <laughs> He's playing it one day. <laughs> I think it is Tuesday. So, yeah, that's, that's going to be good. I'm looking forward to watching him play that. <laughs> this guy's <is> so cute. <laughs> he is the cutest bundle of death you will ever see. <laughs> Uh, he's one of our, you know, he's one of our only sort of mascotty type Skylanders, and I, I, I wish yeah. we had more of those, you know. Yeah, I think Spyro could be classed as one. Yeah, yeah, Spyro, Cinder, this guy. Yeah, and then a lot of a lot of them are kind of, uh, uh, you know, like much uh, 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 less friendly looking, I guess. You know, like they don't have the big eyes, and one's bigger than the other, and the big tongue rolling out. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, Hot Dog in the new game is my new favorite mascotty character. I love, I, I love Hot Dog. I don't think I've seen what Hot Dog looks like. He's a he's a fire dog. He's a one of the normal Skylanders, not the giants. I'm not sure if I've seen that one. Was it in a trailer? I think so. I think he had a trailer. Fair enough. I have to look at that after. A uh, flare blade one 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 one. Uh, <laughs> I have no, idea, I have no idea if there's going to be a new Spyro or Crash game. Uh, that that yeah. would if if that were happening, it would happen in a different part of Activision from me. So I actually wouldn't know. Yeah, I didn't realize Activision had the rights to Crash. Actually, I I didn't know who had it to be honest. Because game Crash games were made by so many people over the years. Yeah, when. Uh, when uh, Universal, uh, when Vivendi Universal merged with Activision, yeah, all, all of the rights for all of the stuff sort of merged together. Mm. I mean, hell, we've got the rights to all those Infocom adventure games, like Zork. Ah. What's your favorite indie game? Indie game, that's a good one. Uh, probably Minecraft. I played the hell out of Minecraft. Fair enough. Uh, let's see what else. I liked Braid. I yeah, thought that I thought that uh, story was a little hard to follow, but I still liked it anyway. Mm. I really like V V V V V V. Oh, I haven't played that one yet, but really I, that one fun. looks cool. Yeah, it's really fun. Great, great retro feel. 
Another good one. Uh, very new, actually. Not very well known. Um, it's called Symphony. It's on Steam. Um, and uh, have you ever played Audio Surf or heard of Audio Surf? I've heard of Audio Surf. I haven't played it. Yeah, it's basically like that, except about a million times better. <laughs> like you, instead of racing along a track, collecting colored objects, um, and, and dodging the gray ones, um, you are, it's like a, it's like asteroids, sort of, but on a cooler uh -huh. scale, um, and you, you have to kill the, um, the ships, um, in time to the music, and, uh, after each, after each song, um, because it's your own music, obviously, um, you get a new, you get new weapons that you can choose to, um, upgrade uh, your ship with to attack um, and each time every so often you get a boss within your music because basically the plot is that um, these demons have taken over your music and they're, they're in there you've got to take them out um, and yeah each time you defeat a boss you get um, a part of sheet music uh, which unlocks a uh, higher difficulty when you get more it's really fun and because obviously you get weapons and you can upgrade them over time because um, you get points and you get you by weapons that way and whatnot. Uh, because it, because you get some really really powerful weapons um, later on um, over time, then the, the harder difficulties are still really tough because they're, they're designed to be hard, so you can't do it with the starting weapons. So it's really oh, okay. fun. It's incredibly addicting. <laughs> what was that one called? Symphony. Symphony. Mhm. Mm cool. I'll check that out. That sounds cool. Yeah, it's really fun. I'd be surprised if you didn't enjoy it because, like, you can you can just play it to any of your any of your songs, any music you have on your computer. You can just play it to it. It's just great. <laughs> Got him. Um, Ethan Game Master asked if I had any animals. Yes, I have five cats. Five. <laughs> that's that's a lot of cats. It's too many cats. <laughs> it's too many cats. It's Mary's fault. And uh, but you know what? I love them, so I'm glad I have them. Mm. I I don't have any any more. Well, they are any pets they're, anymore. They're so they're so snuggly. They're so <laughs> fluffy. I I do want I want a kitten because they're adorable. Though I am <laughs> because I live on a high story building. I'm worried they would somehow find a way to jump off. I don't ever want that. So yeah, that that would suck. I I don't want to get any. I, I had a hamster, so that was pretty safe. <laughs> Although one, one morning it was in, it was, I put it in its cage. Uh, me and my mum woke up pretty much at the same time, came out of different rooms at pretty much the same time. Um, and it was just like, oh, good morning, walked um, down the hall together. Um, just um, walked, um, walked down and um, my hamster Skippy was running down the hallway despite the fact we closed its cage perfectly we were just like oh and we were just like oh hi Skippy and looked at each other and was like Skippy what are you doing so uh, that was interesting uh, he 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 broke the cage he snapped three of the bars and got through we were just like how did you do that you you magical hamster how have you managed this so that was interesting <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, Pop not... Fizz. Pop Fizz looks good. Oh yeah, he's a lot of fun to play. Yeah, I like him. Can't he turn into a crazy mutant? Yeah, he turn turns into a big crazy demon when he drinks his potions yeah. or his his soda his soda potions. He reminds me of Brio from Crash. Oh, hang on. Someone's very desperate for me to answer. Uh, oh, fair Ethan, I did answer you. Uh, I I typed it into the chat. Yeah. My first game system was a uh, Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Mm. Once again, I, I'm in the chat as Mike Dodger Stout, so I'll answer questions that way too. We need to do this again. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm thinking of doing like um, Tools Destruction one day if you'd like to join <laughs> in the code commentary. Yeah, you know, maybe if you want to do a Let's Play, Tony and I can join with you. We can, mm. uh, yeah, have like a good. crossover episode or something. Yeah. That'd be cool. That would be fun. Um, I think uh, right. if it was you and Tony, it would have to be. Um, I'd have to record it, upload it to YouTube, and watch the footage that way. Because um, I'm pretty sure you can't um, share screen with um, more than one person, which is annoying slightly. <laughs> it's uh, it's tricky. I've done it before, but it's tricky. Fair enough. 
Um, let's see. Uh, hang on. There's a ton of questions popping up here. Oh, also, uh, Teal, if you scroll up, um, Omega Lock uh, put a link to Hot Dog. Ah, okay. Let me check if, that out. If you want to see this video. Let me check uh, let's that. Let's see. So, JJMan65 has two questions. One, can Activision and Toys for Bob release an art book for the Skylander franchise or making of documentary? Uh, yeah, I'm sure they can. I don't know if they have any plans to do so. Um, gener like, when it comes to uh, licensed products or uh, secondary products, I usually don't find out about those until the public does. So, uh, I don't know if that's in the plans. Um, has Toys for Bob ever thought about adding elements from the Skylanders' backstories into future games, such as Hex and Cinder's backstories? Um, I don't know, actually. I, I'm not sure. Isn't Hex? So, sorry, well, I, isn't I, Cinder's I, backstory sort of the one from the Legend of Sparrow? I don't know if it's canon or not. Yeah, I mean, I, I think so. I mean, she was turned un, undead by Malifor, right? That's still the yeah. plan. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, I, I didn't so mind the series. It was okay. <laughs> I liked Dawn of the Dragon a lot more than the first two. <laughs> yeah, it the, those games, man. I've I've heard a lot from my friend Mike Graham, who's been on the franchise for six yeah. years, seven years now. Yeah. And he said that you know making those games it was basically just you know a couple of people really they wanted to make something cool, but there just wasn't money for it. Yeah. You know? And. Uh, they were constantly flying out to France to, to or Australia or wherever the game developer was and just trying to help them make cool things and tell cool stories and stuff. But at the end of the day, when you've, when you've got a small budget, there's only so much you can do. And Universal didn't really believe in the franchise as much as uh, Activision does. So. Yeah. Um, let's see. What's my opinion on the Pokemon games? Kronos the, uh, the Titan asks. Um, I like the Pokemon games. I... I I, I haven't gotten super into them. Like I've never, I've never been uh, really addicted to them. But I have played a couple of them, and every time I do, they I think they're a lot of fun. What's your favorite Pokemon game? See, the last one I played was Pearl, and I liked that one a lot. Uh, I think that was the one. It was the one where they there was sort of like a anti Pokemon uprising going on, where like people were saying that Pokemon ranching was uh, uh, abusive to the Pokemon. They were doing that kind of story, and I, I thought that was interesting. Team Galactic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Pearl, Diamond Pearl. Yeah, I, I really like Emerald. Emerald was great. Oh my god, Doom Sharks, yes! <laughs> it's the Doom Shark bit soon. I love Doom Shark. <laughs> the Doom Sharks of Doom! It's my Man. Doom Shark. <laughs> Dude, Ch Chaos' uh, voice acting made this boss battle. Like, yeah. This boss battle was, was pretty good by itself, but with... With him going Doom Sharks, yeah. it was just like I, at first it, it it took me a while to get that they were Skylanders, but like they, they were evil versions of the Skylanders you could have. It took me a long time to get that. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it was kind of obvious, but I just didn't see it. Let's see. Uh, what are my favorite legendary? Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm not that great at Pokemon, so I don't think I ever got legendary Pokemon. But Teal, maybe you could answer. What are your favorite legendary Pokemon? Um, I really like all the legendaries from uh, uh, Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire. They're really good. Um, uh, particularly um, uh, uh, Kyogre. I love Kyogre. Uh, Fabian Game Master says he has a question. What's your question, uh, Fabian? You should. Maybe he's um... typing. Uh, you should um, get uh, the black and white too. It's really good. <laughs> it's such a good game. Why? They, they... Oh, okay, so Fabian, Fabian Game Master says, why does Chaos look like he has a hood in the hologram? Uh, his hologram is basically trying to make himself look bigger and more evil than he actually is. Because really, he looks kind of like Gargamel, and that's not too yeah. threatening. So the hood, the, the hologram was sort of like him... Him trying to say, "Oh, look, I'm big and scary," when in fact he's he's not. So, and hoods make people look scary, right? Yeah, especially in an alleyway. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he was in a dark alleyway. Yeah. I... Also, if they're carrying knives, a bit more threatening. <laughs> At that point, I run. Line? Oh, sorry. What'd you say? It, also, if they're carrying knives, that's a bit more threatening. I run. At that point. <laughs> 
Yes. I, yes, I run, run very, very fast. <laughs> Maybe you can put that on a t-shirt. Run very fast yeah. from knives. Yeah.